Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? Click the little blue button. We're in the workshop today. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I know, it's so grand. It's the workshop today. Look what else is in the workshop. It's my $10 purchase. And I'm going to tell you this. I will at some point in my life be cognizant of the fact that I need to pick up pieces of furniture and flip them over before I buy them. When it's sitting down, it feels stable. But then when I turn it over... <clears throat> And there's no pressure on it. Look, it just moves. So we're going to get rid of our $10 prize tag here. It needs to be stabilized. I cannot in good conscience. I know when I set it down on the floor, it's going to feel stable. Because when you put pressure on it, it pushes out the legs and then it doesn't feel wobbly. But obviously it is not stable. I mean, it's just not it could collapse at any second. So if somebody heavier sat on it or uh, me, <laughs> it could collapse under the weight. It is definitely, um, the joints are loose for, for real. There's like one that's not loose, one leg that's not loose. So we're going to get some glue in here. We're going to need to repair their upholstery job. Um, some of the staples have come out and then they glued over it. I'm going to hot glue a trim piece around it. So you're not going to see that glue that they've got caked on there anyway, but it's just, um, um, it feels like a first attempt and good on you. You tried, you, you just gave up too soon. You had the right intentions. You were th very nearly there. Um, I don't know if they just didn't know how to repair the joints and that's why they got rid of it or what, but like these, um, staple issues probably hit a knot hole. The staple right there is not in there. You can see the glue here they used to, to glue it down. Had they hammered this in, put a trim piece on, this is nice. They would have, they would have done a nice job. This is not nice. I don't like these. That, that's a personal pr choice though that's personal preference I feel like this was gold at one time it has that feeling like this was a gilded piece um I can see little pops that look like gold it could have been sherry I don't know I don't know I don't know in all honesty my first priority is stabilizing it because uh, they did use what looks like hot glue under here. What is this? What is this? Like, are these supposed to be in a hole somewhere? I think they were. Did they just not? Oh, those should be in the holes. Like, like that. Well, let's do that. We'll get those put back in their holes. I don't know what the deal was with that. Um, looks like they tried to remove the top. Okay, so here's what I'm looking at. So under here, do you see these? They've got glue on them. Let's take the glue off. These, there's a hole over here that they should match up with and they didn't get them back in there. Um, bless your heart, you tried. You tried. Uh, I don't even think this is upholstery fabric, you guys. Oh, it's not. Oh, no. This is not upholstery fabric. Um, uh, here we go. Mm, mm, mm. It is actually a cotton with spandex, it feels like. So here we go. 
You ready for it? Let's just take it out. I've got plenty of upholstery fabric. Let's make sure it's done right. Uh, that doesn't look too manky. All right. Let's see what we're going to do to make some repairs here. I think I got to pull the bottom off. I got to I got to see what they did under here. Uh Hang on. There's a lot of glue. There's a lot of glue under here. There's a fabric covering the wood. Oh, what? What is that? Oh my. I might be judging a little bit now. It's a total rebuild. So they did this. This is probably a quarter inch. And then these corner brackets that they attempted to use to hold in place. When the corner bracket didn't want to hold, they just went, use caulk and more caulk and more caulk. And then when it wouldn't hold up and it started to come apart, my guess is they went, well, just don't eat it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Here's the attempt at webbing. This is what they used to support the bottom. Beadboard paneling. This is not thick enough to support any weight. If I put this over my knee right now, I could break this in half without hurting myself. I'm gonna need a second. I'm gonna need a second. Because seriously, if think about it, just think for one second. If you're gonna sit on this, do you feel like it's gonna hold you? Then don't use it. Now I have to deal with this. It's all gotta come off. The webbing. The webbing. It's layers of memory foam. So I am gonna be ripping this whole thing apart. We're doing it over because that's what I do. I want it done right. It deserves better than this. Oh, it's like a... Next time you see me, I will have all this ripped off because I'm going to need to curse. So I'm going to pause this. This was layered inside to get the mound. We have just shards of memory foam that they just layered up so that, that it would mound in the middle. Well, they had a look. It got a look, but it's not gonna be what it is anymore. Just a quick update. They pretty much used every staple they ever had, but there we go. It's coming apart right there. This is what you needed to glue, not all this. <laughs> We're going to glue this. We're going to get this back together. The whole thing's going to come apart and it's going to get put back together correctly. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do up here. I know what I want to do. I think I want to do a flat top on it, um, a thick flat top. I don't think I'm going to do webbing and then um, I'm going to cover over it. So I'm going to kind of take off on what they were thinking only correctly. 
Let me show you how to do this if you don't know how to do a webbing. I'm not a webbing girl. I've got webbing. I've got the tools to do it. I don't like doing it. Okay. Um, I don't like it. I don't like webbing on chairs. I don't like it on anything. I feel like eventually it just kind of sags and it's not my favorite. I know that traditional upholsters would yell at me and I have never taken a traditional upholstery class. I have a book. I've learned from a book. So maybe if I took a, a class, I would feel differently. But I have the all the tools. I have all the upholstery tools. I have webbing in the garage. I know right where it is. Uh, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. So I think what I'll do is cut a plywood top, a thicker plywood top, and put it on here correctly. And then we'll, we'll go from there. But this is going to take a lot of staple pulling. They ran out of staples doing this. They used every last staple they had because each piece of their webbing, <laughs> this is not webbing. This is like some kind of weird plastic. Um, their, their webbing job has about six staples on each end and, and still it didn't hold up for them. Hmm. I cut them cause I got tired of trying to deal with the, the bouncy part in the middle. I wanted that off. So it's definitely coming apart at the joints. It will, it will all be removed, sanded, repaired. And then we'll go from there. I got to get all this glue off there. That's what's hurting my hand is the hot glue that they use. Just like stabbing me in the hand as I'm trying to work. I flipped it around to start work on this side to get this side off. I've been pulling staples for over an hour. I'm only got half of them done. And I flipped it around this side just went boop. <laughs> Look, it's, you can't even see any glue. I mean, it's like, like it was just milled. Oh my gosh. At least it fits back together beautifully. This is the only joint I think that's stable is this side. Uh, they had a staple on this side that was like bridging those two pieces. And I'm like, a staple is going to not do it. But I've been pulling staples for an hour. They all got to come off. I did damage the frame a tiny bit there. We're going to have to do some repairs. I'm going to do a lot of repairs, some repairs. <laughs> That's um, there's a lot of repairs. This is why I don't track my hours because if I did, I'd make less than minimum wage. You gotta love what you do and you're not making any money at it. <laughs> Ugh, some of the staples are just gonna have to stay and they're gonna get banged in. But right now I need to take it all apart and uh, start gluing. Time. It's time for her to come apart. That's it. I'm just banging it apart. So I just have a 150, 150 grit. And I'm just going to sand all the way around the joint. And then here it looks like they tried to just glue around the outside. That's only going to be a temporary fix if it does work at all. So they knew it was a loose joint and it looks like they just squirted some glue in there. It's not in here where it needs to be. So we're going to get all that cleaned off. And then we're going to get this in there and try and clean those out as much as... Wow, that was a lot of glue. <laughs> that was a lot. There's an awful lot of sanding, but they also didn't prep their surface. Always prep your surfaces, guys. I don't even care what kind of paint you're using. It just needs to be done. Mm. So, I'll smooth this out, clean this off. It's all gummy. Not to be weird, but I look good like that. Like the distressed. looking at all the detail with all the sanding on it and I'm like I kind of like it I don't know it's time to repair it's time to put this bad boy back together I'm gonna have to do something about this 
little chunk here. So we're going to get water and wood glue and clamps and we're going to get it all put back together again. All right, got legs. And they only go back together one way, so I had already dry a fit it just to make sure I had all the pieces in the right place. So make sure you do that because with these mortise joints, they go in one way. <laughs> get some water rolling around in there. That's too much glue. I never use these fan brushes anyway. So let's just get the glue moved around, get some out. <sighs> she wants to be together. She wants to hold up here. That one went in real nice. I got this end off. This. So was this one. She's clamped. We are clamped. We are done for the day. So now I'm going to let it be clamped overnight. And then tomorrow, maybe the next day. I don't know because oh, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I have tournaments for Victoria this weekend. And uh, Sunday I'm going to paint my booth. Won't be yellow anymore. Uh, the yellow is not, not good. It's going to be actually a dark, dark gray. Um, like the other booths in that area, I guess. So yeah, it's going to be great. So is this, this is going to go together really well. And then, uh, we're going to have to cut a top, reupholster it, which do I have? I've got a couple cushions. I'm not sure I want to use them all for this. I mean, I, uh, I don't really want to spend $60 on a cushion either. Okay, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Those are my choices. Use what I have or spend $60 on a cushion. I was kind of hoping their cushion wasn't bad. Turns out it was bad. It was bad. It was dusty. It was gross. It was gross. Um, so, better it be gone. Now I have to pick a fabric, too. Woohoo! That's the fun part. And then decide if I'm painting. Well, it depends on the fabric. Um, I have a lot of really cute florals. You know what? Got this one. Remember we did the the hearts out of this. This would be cute on there. And then I could leave the green and do it a little distressed. I think the center yellow piece of the flower would have to be changed to this pink, though. To a pink. That might look cute, you guys. That might look really cute. Um, might be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Speaking of dinner, I'm going to go make dinner. <laughs> I'm hungry. I didn't eat lunch. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week. DIY tutorials, and of course, more Junkin' videos.